This is Twit. Tell me about, well, actually, I'll tell you first, about Firefly Aerospace Blue Ghost Moon Lander. Yeah, which, that's exciting. Uh, launched just weeks ago, is now in lunar orbit, which is cool, because we, we keep waiting for one of these private missions to have success. There's Should more than landing. one moon lander. Well, I guess we're going to talk well, about I know, that. but we're talking about this one now. Give me a break. All right. So it's All right. scheduled to land on or about March 2nd, barring mm-hmm. any complications. We're we're hope, praying it works this time, please. And it has uh, 10 experiments on board, and it's her- headed for Mare. Mare, did you hear that? Mare Chrysium, which is the Sea of Crises. So is that really how you, you say it? Mare? Mare? Yeah. yeah Not yeah, Mare? Yeah. Mar- Mare? No, Mare is horses. Mare is big right. stony pits. No, this is exciting. This is exciting. You know, we've been getting uh, a steady, um, steady images uh, from the spacecraft since they launched, um, I guess, uh, was it? It was last month? No, yeah, or earlier yeah. this year, and uh, and and on on the thirteenth, so just uh, just uh, about a week ago, they arrived in uh, in an elliptical lunar orbit. We got video of it for folks on video uh, watching it right now, uh, and there it is. I mean, so far things seem to be going really swimmingly. So I really hope that they've got all the eyes uh, dotted, all the T's crossed for this one uh, to see how it goes. Of course, the 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 landing is a uh, entirely different i mean you can drive 99 percent of the way there you run out of gas before you get there you know you're you're still not uh, on on the moon um but they they have to they have to stick that landing or it's um uh, it could be all she wrote so we'll have to see how it goes but it, it's really a, a bit of a um heartwarming success story to see firefly this relatively small uh a, a company really knock one out of the park with this 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 first clips uh, mission clips of course is the commercial lunar payload services program uh that that some of the nasa payloads are part of on uh, on this mission and um and so far things are going really well now you might have heard me feel a little snarky earlier there is another moon lander that that, that people should be thinking about japan actually launched a, a japan's a comp- the japanese company ispace launched a, their own moon lander and i think it's called resilience uh, along with Blue Ghost on the same SpaceX Falcon uh, right. uh, rocket. And it just passed its own uh, milestone with a, a lunar flyby as it's getting ready for its own landing. But uh, uh, Resilience takes a lot longer to get to the moon than um, uh, than Blue Ghost. And so it's going to take a little bit uh, a little bit longer to get there. So uh, not, not, not so much a race, but uh, iSpace is trying to come back uh, from a failure. Uh, you know, you mentioned... That if if Blue Ghost succeeds with Firefly, uh, if if everything goes well, like 100%, they will be like the first to to actually nail it, 100% uh, across the board. I am one. I think it, it it kind of landed and then fell over. Uh, they got some science back from it. In fact, at American right. Astronomical Society, I think one of the the radio telescope was facing uh, up for a little bit. They were able to get some science, but then uh, then uh, it just it just got too um, uh, too messy. But they had something like five minutes worth of data, and they were they were like salivating over it. What can we learn about the universe with just this? Uh, and so they're really hoping to uh, to be first. But then I am too, waiting in the wings too. So we've got a moon landing this week, another one on the way, and then another one that's getting ready to get off the ground with Intuitive Machines Number Two that I talked about earlier. And just a quick side note, there are two I spaces. There's I capital S space, which is the Japanese company, and there's I small S space, which is the Chinese company. So mm-hmm. that can, that can get confusing for us yeah. if you're not looking at it. And you'll have to pardon me. There's somebody hammering in the background here. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there. <laughs>